The Presidential Advisor on Special Duties, Audrey Krabogo, has urged Ugandan investors in South Africa to be patriotic. In a meeting held in the town of Pretoria, he advised Ugandans to concentrate on things that will benefit them in the future, emphasizing that Ugandan government is to ensure that it supports Ugandans in the diaspora. When shall we bring a significant level of organization on how you structure your finances, how you recruit, how you train, how you do critique publicly, how you make a foundry of leaders, how you really demonstrate that it's not about power. Ah, it's about production of heads and food. The proprietor of Rostec Colleges in South Africa, Philip Kakuru, who employs over 300 staff, including Ugandans and people from South Africa, participated in the meeting. He says they are to ensure that unemployed Ugandans living in South Africa get markets in which they sell Ugandan food as a way of contributing to their household income. Ugandan farmers to be able to sell goods in South Africa. And the first market is the Ugandans who live here. For instance, if we say, can Uganda set up through microfinance or support a market for Ugandan produce in Johannesburg? where there are about more than 100,000 people. Kakuru disclosed that Ugandans working in the education sector in South Africa plan to return home to invest in their country. What? To have serious inflows of capital in Uganda in terms of investment. So Ugandans should raise themselves to partner with the South Africans and South African companies in boosting trade, tourism and investment. Alex Kanuga operates different shops selling auto spare parts in South Africa, says this has helped to improve the relationship between Ugandans and people of South Africa. He emphasizes that they are to use the opportunity to continue getting market in South Africa and remit the money back home. I would swear we turn the contacts we got in the summit into contracts. Once contacts have been turned into contracts, money will start flowing. The more money that goes into our country, the more jobs. Also, our business is here. Our businesses employ a lot of people. So the more businesses that we do, the more environment, conducive environment we get, the more people we employ. We do employ South Africans, we do employ Ugandans. I'm Nafka Farida and Wycliffe Mudaji.